Hello and welcome to the Northampton Circuit Worship at Home service for the 1st of November. Really good to be here sharing with you again today. At the beginning of our service we paused to remember the people who had been an example to us, the people that had influenced our own lives. I stopped and it made me wonder, what was it that made those people a good example? What makes a good role model? somebody that we should try to emulate. Who would make a good role model for our young people today? And that led me to think, what was it about Jesus? What attracted people to go and see him? Was it his words or was it his actions? What was it that drew all those crowds of people to him? I think it had to be a combination of both because one without the other has no substance. What Jesus said, he carried out in his actions, and what he did made sense because of what he said. Words and actions in harmony. In the Gospel reading today, we find Jesus drawing attention to the fact that the scribes and the Pharisees were not practising what they were preaching. Their words and their actions were not in harmony. They taught the law and Jesus said the law was good and should be obeyed. But the scribes and Pharisees multiplied the specific demands of the law so that they became this huge burden on the people. And when the people were struggling, scribes and Pharisees offered no help to them. The scribes and Pharisees also made this great display of their leadership. They wanted to be noticed. They wanted to have their authority recognised. They wanted to be treated as special, wherever they were, whatever they were doing. They wanted a title that set them above and apart from the people. They had to be more important. Jesus said teaching the law was good. Adding to the burden on the people and puffing themselves up was not good. Jesus reminded everyone that those who sought greatness would be made humble. And he warned people that they shouldn't follow the example of the way the scribes and the Pharisees lived because they didn't carry out their own teaching. The scribes and Pharisees, I suppose, were brilliant examples of the do as I do. Wrong. Don't do as I do, but do as I say. Jesus said that our words and our actions should match, just as his always did. In the epistle, Paul is reminding us that the disciples went about God's work and their mission in the right way. They didn't expect to be treated in a special way. They worked to earn their keep, and they didn't put themselves forward but the importance of God's word was what they proclaimed. What about us? There is a saying, don't worry that children never listen to what you say. Worry that they're always watching you. Children learn a great deal from when they're very small, from watching the adults around them and from following their example. And in the same way, people watch us. We say we're Christians, but do our words and our actions match up? If they don't, we're not likely to attract others to find out more about our God who loves us all. On my wall at work, I had a poster that said, if you were arrested for being a Christian, would there be enough evidence to convict you? It made me think then, and it makes me think now. We're all being watched. We're all living sermons. We all show an example to others and we need to make sure that we're being good examples in all that we say and in all that we do. When we choose our own role model, the one we try to emulate, we have to choose carefully and make sure that the one we choose will never lead us astray. And the only one that will never lead us astray 
is Jesus. We need to make sure that it's him and him alone that we look to and we listen to for our example, so that our words and our actions are always in harmony and we need to encourage others to use Jesus as their role model. Just think about being a role model yourself and using Jesus as our role model. Let's pray. Loving Lord Jesus, thank you for being our friend. When we are weak, you strengthen us. When we are lonely, you speak to us. When we are sad, you comfort us. When we are glad, you rejoice with us. You are our guide, our keeper, our example, our shepherd and our shield. Your presence is our constant joy and our prayers are in your name. Amen. Please all stay safe.